Okay, once again you have to listen my bad English, but I try my best. Okay, uh, we will show movements we are do doing before the drawing session and after the drawing session. And of course we are showing a uh, few draws from different standing positions. Or, uh, with, with uh, overweight shots, but Tero won't throw with Chavelin today because he, he, he is not, start, not st starting his throwing season in this, this period of the year. And this, uh, I want to say that exercise, amount of the exercise is so huge. And uh, my, my philosophy is just try to pick up the best ones and no, not doing every, every single single movement uh, like with, with medicine ball, with, with overweight shots and so on. And here, here you can see a few of the movements. First, uh, three movements we are doing, I think every single Every time, every single drawing session, the warm for the warm-up. Before the drawing session, the warm-up is with, with these, these exercises. First one is just rotation with hammer. I think this is very good exercise for the shoulder. shoulder and, and of course you are doing it both ways. But it's all opening and warming up your shoulder. Very good. And of course, Tero is using every every time also left arm. So you you have to do it with both both arms. Another one is uh, for the breaking muscle, back of the shoulder. Every time we are doing work with, with that part and very simple movements for that part is this kind of. Tero is doing that with four kilos shot. Part breaking muscle is is very important for the thrower as as the front part. Of it. So you have to take care both the part of the thrower. And also with left arm. Yeah. Then it's just throwing movement by lying here, here in bench, and okay, and and position is like that. And Tero is doing that with four kilos of most of the time. You can uh, do it that kind of, what might be the right English word for that? Anyone? 
mikä tuon laitteen, englanninkielinen nimi voisi olla tuo lauta, mikä tuo kaarilauta, mikä sen tuossa. Yeah, yeah, so you can use a, a bench with an arch, so you can get the bending on the back. And you can easily do that also, also to the, your, your home throwing place. It's very easy to do. We have also that kind of with plastic. Yeah. And also with both hands. And so right, left, and also with both. Okay, many times we are doing three rounds, every single movement, so three times these movements, so that is very good for warm-up for Tero. And then we start to throwing balls, and Tero is starting every, every time, he's starting with legs together, and trying, trying to get the wave, the wave from the body. can easily do these kind of movements quite a heavy equipment like Tero is doing with four kilos but you, these are the main thing to, when you are doing these kind of exercises you do it a little bit slower and thinking about the movement not trying too hard to hit the ball just right movement okay. Four kilos was too too much. Two 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 and a half kilos was the right weight. I I, I saw it was four kilos. Okay, and with left, of course the same. And I I really can say that the Tero is quite a good, almost a master to do every single technical details also with with, with his left arm from the left side. And it, it's very important for the coordination to do from the both sides. Of course, your body, body has to work both sides of your body. So we, did, we didn't have a plan to do throwing session today, but we will do it. We start the throwing this season, yes. And, yeah, yeah, every, every single time Tero is throwing the same amount rip, reps from the left than he throws from the right. So the same amount. With the shots. With the shots, yes. Yeah. Not with the travel. Yeah. Maybe I have to give a microphone to te for the Tero. You can, uh, you can speak and do the same sign. Okay, standing position from the drawing, standing position change after the year Jan Selesny. So Selesny teaches our new, new system for the, for the standing throw. And we, we, have, we did it earlier so that we moved the uh, front leg, block leg forward and then throw. Now the position is the block leg is already on the ground and Tero is doing just rotation of the hip and then so you can see. Position, rotation and throw. Of course, there is a variation how you can do it. My, my daughter is doing it a little bit different way. He, she is also javelin thrower, but she will she, she do it a little bit different way. But this is Tero's way to do it. 
And I really think that it's, this is still uh, warming up for the, for the Javelin Trophy. But of course, you, the chain of the body is the important. That's first heel, hip, and last one is throwing arm. And of course, on the left side. Time, I mean, when we are starting to do drawing sessions in, in October, November, we are using this, this kind of balls. And it's, for Tero, it's much, much better that you, you, you get a, almost a grip from the ball. And we are drawing this kind of uh, equipment to the, to the net, to the wall, not, not to that place. And, uh, from standing and from walking, maybe. Maybe you can do one set from standing and one set from walking. <coughs> Keeping, keeping the both legs on the ground in the end. And the distance between the legs is quite a long one. Not throwing like this, it has to be go like this. This is the, another, another thing. And one thing is, of course, free, free arm, free hands, how it's working. And also from these throws, a little bit moving your upper body forward. Not keep not standing after row here, or you have to you have to be after the row almost like this position. <coughs> You can see that Tero gets very long pull. It's much, much longer than, than with, with the traveling. So, so, of course, we are working all the time that he gets maximum distance of the pool. But you, you saw the rotation, how, how Tero is working with, with free, free hands. So, Closing, closing, closing. And this tip, what I give, what I give, gave to you that you can do it like like this, little bit this, 
This is closing your solar line energy. Uh, one and a half kilos is that, so there is normally throwing the position like this. Maybe one set, three times more. Then we go to the drawing with the one, one crossover, so walking plus the crossover. Hopefully it's not slippery for the Broadway. My fault. And now you can see the crossover of Teros, very nearby, how it's going on, what is the landing position, how, how it's, and how near to the ground it, it goes, very near to, ground, near to the ground. By the way, it looks quite, quite a good. What do you think about it? Okay, then we are moving to the, to the javelins many, many times, and this part, what Tero did, latest, with for special shots, he stopped that when, when the new year is coming. So, so this, is, this is from the October to the December. And then we are concentrating full time drawing with javelin. And javelins, uh, we have variation, you, you, you can find out there is maximum uh, weight is one kilo, from one kilo, 950, 900, and 850, and then 800. So there is many times there's a variation from one kilo to 800 grams when Tero is drawing. And yeah, and when it comes, maybe when it's coming New Year, then the 600 grams is also in view drawing distance with zero. But all those <coughs> overweight javelins and drawing with overweight javelins, the maximum speed is five step speed. That that means starting position here and five to seven steps and drawing. When he when zero is taking full run up. He only use 800 grams of chavering, or 10600. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Maybe very, very simple. Close next. He, and of course, when when the target is to build up, build up the technique and also also the flexibility of the main movement, back and shoulder and so on. Overhead throws are very important, and of course we are doing a lot of them. First, normal, normal overhead throw. And we are testing like every, every second week, maybe, maybe so, we are, we are measuring what, what is the length of the overhead throws. So, just keeping the level quite a, quite a high. Tero has uh, has thrown with four kilo overhead over 21 meters. Yeah. 22. 22. <laughs> really? <laughs> Who is your coach? <laughs> so, so that is the thing. Then with uh, wave, a little bit lighter, maybe lighter or. And uh, now Tero hits a little bit harder because it's lighter ball. And then overhead with rotation. Maybe Tero has to breathe a little bit. He's getting older. 
I have to say it. Maybe, maybe this kind of sewing movements, boom, 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 like this, is the hardest tra uh, training tester for athletes in whole, whole, whole autumn time. So. But of course, this is basic movement, and it's a very good, good one. And of course, here is important to see that the movement is right. Right, long throw, using your heel, using your hip in right order and of course from the left side Basic throw next also, like a shot putter, legs together and rotation as much as possible. And you can low angles, you can, you can use low angles. And he goes quite low, you can see, almost to the ground. And another vari variation from this, this movement in doing the same from the knees. Okay, we have, I forgot, we have done it this from the seating, not from the knees. We have done it like this. Then few movements the coach has to help and, and now we are doing forward from the knee, knee position. So front back knees on the round and the block leg is over there and I will I will throw the ball from from the side to the terror, hopefully. Like this. I'm throwing, throwing the ball to Tero, so there, is, there, there will be a little bit stretching at the, at the same time when the ball. So, so quite a high, higher, high and a little bit back. Okay, so of course the same from the different sides. One more. Okay, next is the movement we learned from the Jan, and it's also very good movement. Movement for your your breaking muscle, also back shoulder. So 
you have to waste has to be tight on the on the mattress and arms are <laughs> okay arms are uh, arms are straight and now just lifting the ball just using your back shoulder and one more Next one, maybe we do it from here. I will throw the ball. You are laying on the ground. Okay. Throwing from the, here. So athlete has to raise upper body. And one more. This is quite a good one. Okay, next. Next with bigger ball. Jalat seinää vasten. Millä? With four kilos, okei. Okay. Okay, the higher the goats throws the ball, the more difficult the movement is. It's, it's okay. What next? Maybe we can, we will... Yeah, so is here. Okay, uh, this is technical, at the same time, technical thing. Uh, throwing medicine ball from one cross over. Walking and throwing. And that is a very good mo mo movement for the learning how to how to keep the shoulder, shoulder line close till the end. So ball here and Wait, wait, wait till the end. Okay, uh, next movement is for the sides, and we call it, the name for our program is called Filunda, Filunda, Discus Thrower from Germany, and may, maybe he, she has done it first time, but we, we, maybe, I don't know how it, the name came to our program, but, but it's this kind of e exercise. So, a lower leg is straight and upper leg is 60, uh, 90 degrees here and then rotation to the stomach and from here to here. This is quite a hard exercise if you 
using four kilos or more and you are doing it right way. Okay. And of course from another side. At the same time when you are keeping here the legs, it's uh, the threads into the to hip like hip area. Maybe a few moments left. Maybe we do kahva kuula. What is the English name of the kahva kuula? Kettlebell. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. I always forget, forget to use the microphone, but yeah, kettlebell. What's it? Hold on, So every week is also in our program to draw like, like this. Six to eight kilos. Six to eight kilos is the weight of the, what is the name, yellow? Uh, it's much, much easier to, easier to speak in it in Finnish, so. Our time is running out, so. <laughs> so, fi finally, finally, with the style of this controller. So we can we do that with four different styles: backwards with right and left, and forward with right and with left. I hope that you you saw quite a good movements and maybe maybe one or two new movements you can use your own program. I, I really hope so, but but of course the, these movements are quite a quite a uh, quite a, how how can I say normal movement. So we don't look any any special movement. Every uh, every coach is all around the world in challenging, creating new movements. I, you can find out every single week from the YouTube, and the mind is blowing if you are trying to use every single movement on your training program, so pick the right ones. <laughs> Are there uh, any questions for Hanno and Tero? Yep. So he asks uh, what Tero's PV with the 600 gram javelin is. I have it uh, throw 600. In, uh, on the outside, but but I think once 2005 I did easily 100, but it was old model javelin, but uh, longer than 800. Any other questions?
So uh, his question was that uh, they mentioned that they started wrapping the throw more, and he asked if it uh, had any impact on the run-up. Did it get slower or faster or slower? Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it keeps the same level, no, no slowly. Of course, it's very difficult to motor uh, uh, from the juice rotation to take small speed, but it's then you have, you have to find out the balance. What is the right rotation for the athletes? I think that, but like you, like I told it, it was used to test for the terrace carrier to take more rotation. So they were able to keep the same speed. Yep. Yep. So what stretching exercises do you do? Some uh, gymnastics and uh, and normal stretching and uh, and I use uh, physio a lot. It's uh, well. <laughs> Maybe we have to show few few stretches. It's difficult to explain those, but but uh, physio is very important with, with that exercise. Yep. Uh, there are how many throws you do in off season with javelin or with other equipment? Nowadays, with the javelin, it's uh, mostly. 30, 40 throws per exercise, and most of them are from the from the run up. So, so, but earl earlier I did 60 to 70 throws per per session with javelin, and uh, with the shot from 100 to 200 throws. <coughs> so total totality is around. 250 nowadays, or 200, 250 in, in one throwing session. So, uh, if we don't have any more questions, uh, please gather on the stands, all of you that's standing as well, and we'll have a group, family group picture of the Javelin family. So, please join us for the picture. <laughs> Thank you for going.